more time. We come to praise him, to magnify him, and to lift up the name of Jesus. I'm so glad to be in the house of the Lord. Um, many of us may have struggled to get here on today, but I'm so glad that you all have made it to the house of the Lord. And we come to worship him in spirit and in truth. We come to love him and to honor him and to appreciate him. Just to thank him for one more day he's allowed us to see. Hallelujah. So we love God on today. We honor you, Jesus. We magnify you. We glorify you. We give your name glory, honor, and praise because you alone are worthy to receive glory, God. You alone are worthy to receive honor and praise. Hallelujah to your great name, God. Come on, you got to give him the fruit of your lips. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we bless your name, oh God. We honor your sweet name, Jesus. You worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, oh God. Hallelujah, and we love you on today. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, oh, my soul, rejoice, rejoice.
Lord God. Hallelujah. We exalt thee. Yes, Lord. Lord God, we exalt thee. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we exalt thee. Hallelujah. For thou art great and thou art mighty. Yes, Lord. Thou art wonderful. Thank you, Lord. Thou art great, mighty, yes, and Lord. wonderful. Hallelujah. Thou art love and peace and joy yes, Lord. and happiness. Thou art comfort and thou art contentment. Yes, Lord. Thou art God. Yes. Thou art all that we need. Lord God, we exalt thee. We exalt thee, Lord God, above everything in this earth. Hallelujah. Above all our situations and circumstances. Because at the root of them all, Lord God, you promised that every adversity that we encountered, that the righteous would be delivered. Yes. And we believe your word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We believe what your word says. Yes. And we walk. As we believe your words, what your word says. So we thank you for the day. Thank you, Lord. thank you for another opportunity to exalt you. Yes, Lord. Thank you for another opportunity to lift you yes, high. Lord. Not just with our hands yes, and in song and with our voices. Yes, but in our hearts, we lift you high. We exalt you, ah, Lord yes, God. Lord. For you are the Lord God, great and mighty. Yes, mighty in battle. Yes, mighty in peace. Yes. Mighty in contentment Hallelujah. with your people. Yes. who are righteous. Yes. You love your people who are righteous. You love creation. Hallelujah. And we thank you today, Jesus. Lord God, another day yes, that God. the Lord has made. Yes, Lord. Your word says that we will rejoice. Yes. We will rejoice and hallelujah. give you praise. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah to the God of our salvation. Hallelujah. We thank you today, Lord God, for this day, thank for you, another Jesus. day of life, another day of health, Lord, another you, day of strength, yes, another day of being in our right yes, mind, Lord, thank another you, day of having a soundness yes, of mind, Lord. another day to receive what you have for us. Yes, and we thank you thank today. You, Jesus. We thank you today, thank Lord you, God, Lord, for it you. is today, thank for it being called today, you, and for us to be able to enjoy this yes, day. For us to be able to receive the yes, blessings yes. that you have in store for us. Yes, Open our hearts. Yes, Open our minds. I do pray, Lord yes, God. Lord. Give us that hunger. Yes, and give us that thirst for righteousness. Yes, yes. That we might be filled yes. by you. Yes. Fill us with your spirit. Yes, Forgive yes. our sins, yes. Father. Yes. Forgive our transgressions. Yes. Forgive our errors and our ignorance. Yes, On another day, Lord yes, God, we come to you yes. to forgive us. But as you forgive us, Lord, cleanse us with yes. the washing of your word. Yes, Let your word wash us on today. Hallelujah. Wash me, Lord God, from all unrighteousness. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness, from all that is not like you. And when you have washed us clean and washed us, Lord God, I ask that you would fill me up. Fill me with your spirit, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Fill me, Lord. I need your spirit. I need the power. I need the power. I need the power to live right and to live righteous and holy in this evil day that we live in. And we bind you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, the Lord God rebuke you, Satan. The Lord God rebuke you. The Lord God rebuke you. And we cast you from the mind of the people. I cast you from my mind. Satan, the Lord God cast you from the mind of the people. People, that we may live in peace yes, and that we might enjoy this life, yes, this full life and this rich life that you have given for Thank us, Lord. Lord. You planned it for us. Yes, Help us to enjoy it. Yes, Show us how to enjoy yes, this rich and this full life. Yes, Bring strength to your people yes, of today. Lord, Edify us. Yes, Build us up, Lord. Yes, Lord. Help us to be disciples yes, for the kingdom, yes, that we might be builders yes, in the kingdom of God. Yes, as we seek Hallelujah. first, yes, above everything, we seek the kingdom of God, Hallelujah. that all the blessings that you have in store Thank for us Jesus. are added to Thank us. You, Anoint your man servant. Yes, Anoint your man servant. Yes. Anoint your man servant yes. once again. Anoint him. Give strength in his body, yes, in his heart, and in his mind. Yes, Guide his steps, Lord. Yes, Lord. Your word says that the steps of a good yes, man yes. are ordered by the Lord. Yes, 
continue to orchestrate his yes, life yes, in the name of yes, Jesus Lord. Christ. Yes. These, these singers today, Lord yes, God, God, the musician, in the name of Jesus Christ, anoint for service of the day. We've come not to exalt ourselves. We've come not to promote ourselves, but we come, Lord God, humbly. We come and we bow down to you. We surrender to you on today, Lord God, that as we surrender to you, that you would lift up our hung down head. And we will receive the blessings of the Lord yes, on another day. Hallelujah. I pray, Lord God, that this day, yes, this day would be a glorious Thank day you, in a spiritual way. Yes, in Jesus' Jesus name. name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forward and forevermore. May God bless you and hear of his word. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands on this morning. Come on, put your hands together and bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's an honor and a privilege to be in the house of the Lord one more time. So we come to bless him. We come to magnify him. We come to glorify him because he's worthy. Hallelujah. How many believe that God is worthy on today? Hallelujah. I don't care what you see, what happens, what comes and goes. Because you made it to the house of the Lord on today. He's worthy to be praised. So God, we lift you up, oh God. We lift you up, oh God. Hallelujah. We lift you above our problems. We lift you above our situations. Hallelujah. Have your way and move by your power. Because God is a great God. And a great God deserves a great praise. Hallelujah. So come on, clap your hands and bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name, oh God. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. All will see how great, how great.
leadership of this house. Come on, celebrate our pastor, our superintendent, certainly our mother. God bless our first lady and each of you in your respective places. GWCC morning announcements are as follow. Our weekly worship opportunities, morning worship at the wheel every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. We then have an opportunity to join together again at 5 p.m. for our Sunday night life experience, Amen. which Amen. has been being which has been phenomenal thus far. Yes, Come on, give God praise for that. You have been having a good time throughout our Sunday night live services. Then we join together again for life application Bible study on Tuesday nights at 6 p.m. And we're so grateful for our virtual partners and family who continue to be a blessing. Yes, and worship and again, and thank you so much as we pray God continues to bless each of you. And we certainly appreciate those of us who have already accepted the challenge to sow and partner with us in our first fruit seat come on and give god praise for those amen of us who have already come down. and then those, those who have not we still have time to do so amen as we embark on the last week of march please keep in mind next sunday is palm sunday and amen the will be served as all of those who serve please cover yourselves accordingly and then gwcc passion week is next week as well. Come on, give God praise as we enter the season. Resurrection, to Resurrection Sunday, starting Sunday, April 2nd, all the way up until Saturday, April 8th, 2003. Our theme will be the moment, our sub theme, 
will be Seize the Moment. Seize the moment. Starting on Thursday, April 6, 7 p.m., we will join together as we gather for an hour of prayer corporately. April 7th at 9 a.m., we will join for a, good, for a Good Friday celebration at the Elam Christian Fellowship Church for the last seven words in support of our pastor, who is the speaker. Come on, give God praise for that. Now, this is seven channels where the host pastor is Bishop T. A. Browner. And then we will join together at the Goodwill Community Church of God in Christ for the Good Friday night service of 2023. Come on, give God praise for that. We're to come back here and worship in the Lord together. And then on Saturday, April 8th at 5 p.m., the membership will gather for our first Goodwill Passion Feast. Yes. Right. And we'll have more information to come with that. And then the moment that we'll be waiting for, which is yes. Resurrection Jesus. Sunday, yes. April 9th, 10 a.m., please yes. be sure to invite someone with you. Amen. And also note that no Sunday live service will be that Sunday, but we will resume the following Sunday. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Come together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power unto the Lord, our God. Oh, 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 hallelujah, salvation and glory. Oh, oh, oh honor and power unto the Lord.
Thank you for keeping us from danger seen and unseen. Thank you for being a forgiving God. Thank you for covering us, God, even in our wrongness. You are there to forgive us, God, and we say thank you. Thank you for not cutting us off in our sin, oh God. Thank you for your grace as well as your mercy. God, we stand here not perfect, but we stand here with a commitment to say, God, I want to live saved. I want to live for you, oh God. I ask you to fill us with your Holy Spirit, God. We thank you for being an ever-present help in the time of trouble. And God, we love you on today. We love you on today, oh God. Thank you for your sweet spirit in the room on today, God. Thank you for who you are and for who you will continue to be. God, thank you for the service thus far. You've blessed in the singing and, God, the hearing of your words in melody form. I ask you now, God, for your anointing to preach the word, that those that hear the word, they may receive the word and live by the instruction of the living word of God. God, I rebuke every demonic spirit, every evil spirit, every distracting spirit, spirit, every frustrated spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord God, right now it's not about who else is here. It's about that you are here. It's not about who's not here. It's about the fact that God is here. God, if I had to come by myself, I would have came because I came to your presence, God. I came because I need you. I came because God, I seek after you. I came because I believe your word. I came because I believe if I seek you, I'll find you. God, bless us for our coming God strengthen our minds strengthen our hearts strengthen our commitment strengthen our devotion God let us be better ambassadors oh God of holiness and righteousness God if we fell astray God thank you for allowing us to come back together God God we love you God we love you and we give you the praise for it all belongs to you God I pray for your anointing as always to deliver the word so that they may understand the word and that they may live what they understand. God, I thank you on this morning for all you continue to do. And we give you glory and praise in Jesus name. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Give God praise. As you take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Oh, I honor the Lord on today. Um, I honor the Lord on today. I feel like I need to say this right in the beginning um, for someone that really needs to hear what I'm about to say. It's something that you've heard before, but let me remind you that the devil is a liar. Let me help you and remind you that the devil is a liar and a deceiver. Hallelujah. I want you to know that the devil is a liar. And we got to believe God. Yes. Come on, declare. If it's you say, I believe God. I believe God. I'm just going to believe God. Come on, don't give up. Don't give up. Come on, look at your neighbor. Tell him, don't give up. Don't give up. Come on, it's been a rough week. Don't give up. It's been a tough week. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Come on, let them know you're not in this by yourself. Come on, if you mean to tell somebody, I've been praying for you. 
Sir, I've been praying for you. Sister Melissa, I've been praying for you. Isaiah, I've been praying for you. Come on, tell somebody else, Minister Butler, I've been praying for you. Come on, I believe the prayers of the righteous avail as much. Come on, we're the righteous, and I believe in the power of prayer. Hallelujah. The devil may, he may believe, want you to believe that you're in this fight by yourself, but don't you believe it. Oh, you got support in this. And I thank God for what he's doing. I love the Lord on today. Do you still love God? Hallelujah. In spite of what you had to go through in this week, do you still love God? Oh, I love the Lord. And I'm just so grateful to be in God's house on another occasion. God has been good to us. Hallelujah. The Lord has been good. The Lord wants to distract. He wants to He wants to mess with us, but don't let him do it. Look at your neighbor and say, stay focused. Stay focused. So, to look at your neighbor and say, get out of that daze. Get out of that days. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Hallelujah. The enemy is attempting to distract us because God is blessing us. That's what he's doing. When things get good, look for the devil. Hallelujah. He wants to steal our joy. He wants to steal our peace. Look, steal it. Hallelujah. He wants to steal it. But God, guess what, God? We got to tell him he can't have it. He can't have it. We love the Lord on today. We thank God. I give God praise. It's such a joy always to stand before you and um, I come before you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we have nothing else to teach but Jesus. Yes, yes. Everything revolves around Jesus yes. and our salvation life. And we give God praise even for that. Um, I thank God for um, all of you, God's people. Let's bless God for this praise and worship team. Amen. Come on, let's bless God for Aiden. Come on. Come on, let's bless God for Aiden. My man holding it down. I thank God because he prayed. And God has anointed him. And we bless God. Love you, man. And we give God praise for him. Holding down. I knew when I heard some testosterone. <laughs> See, some ladies... Some ladies have deep voices. But it's not testosterone. I know when I heard I was in the back, I was in the office, I said, I hear... Something that sound like a man. Yeah. Yeah. I came out and saw my man up here singing. Yeah. I said, to God be the glory. I appreciate you. He is, he's multi-talented. He's a drummer. He's an engineer. He's a, a custodian. He's a, a basketball player. He's a student. And he's a singer. He, he's a he's a, a, a YouTube influencer. Before they were influencers, yes, sir. he was an influencer. I got I got video to prove it. Six years old, sending videos out. YouTuber, playing video games, helping those how to get through. He was tagging people in it. Six years old, but he is so talented. And the hand of God is definitely on his life. I thank God for. Him. Thank God for his mother. Come on, bless God for his mother. I thank God for all you parents. Amen. If you're a parent, I want to thank God. Come on, bless God for yourself. Seriously, bless God for yourself. Thank God for you. You hear me? Because sometimes, not all the time, the children are a reflection of your good teaching. My God. And you got to know it ain't always going to be that way. But that don't minimize you. I know when I was acting crazy, I wasn't a representative of how I was taught. But I thank God that the teaching brought me back. And I thank God no matter where it is, we got to bless God for good teaching. We got to bless God for seeds being planted in us. Because they help us. Amen. Amen. When you feel like they're going astray, remember the seed. Yes. Remember the seeds that's been sown, good seeds. Yes. And guess what? The seed got to grow. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, once again, I want to thank God for all of you. As you as stated, I thank God for Elder Butler Amen. giving us our announcements Amen. today. 
Um, on next week is Palm Sunday. I thank God um, we'll have our palms ready um, for Sunday's Palm Sunday service as we uh, uh, usher into our Holy Week, our Passion Week. Uh, he gave us the theme um, for Passion Week, and it is the moment. Yes. It's seizing the moment. Um, we have an opportunity here. And God has presented us. This is the moment. Yes. Um, this is the moment that changed the world, yes. changed our lives. Yes. And it continues to change the world because yes. that moment will never end. Yes. And I thank God for it. We have, we have things that we have on that week. Um, as he stated, beginning on, on, on the 2nd of April, which is a Sunday, we have our Sunday morning service at 10 a.m., our Sunday night life service at 5 p.m. Um, then beginning on Tuesday, we have our, uh, uh, our labs, our, our life application Bible study that's going to begin in at, going to begin at 6 p.m. We want you to be here for that. Everything is going to be geared toward Passion Week. Yes. Everything is going to be geared toward the resurrection. I mean, through the crucifixion and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we want you to commit your time. Yes. Uh, commit your time this week and be here. Be present. Yes. On Wednesday, they have rehearsal at uh, 7 o'clock, um, 6 o'clock on Wednesday. If you want to come and be a part of this, see how they get down to rehearsal, come on, be there. And then on Thursday, we have our hour of prayer. Our hour of prayer, come on, I want you to be back with us for just a time of prayer. Um, prayer, prayer and supplication that we lay before the Lord. I want you to bring your deepest prayers and concerns. We're going to pray over them. Um, if you have it already written out, printed out, whatever prayers you have, I want you to bring your supplications yes. on that day. Lay your supplications before the Lord. Pastor, what is my supplication? It is a thing that you just, that is just waiting on you. We want you to bring your weights. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cast your cares. The word says, cast your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Lay your supplications on, 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 on the altar. We'll be here at seven o'clock on Thursday for our hour of prayer on um, that, that Thursday of Passion Week. And then on, um, on, on Friday, we have a twofold on Friday. I've been asked to speak for a, a seven last word service at, that service starts at 9 a.m. It's at the Elon Christian Fellowship. Um, I'll be preaching. I'll be one of the speakers. There's seven speakers. I'll be one of seven on that day. And then that night, we will have our Good Friday service at 7 p.m. At 7 p.m. Um, we have, we'll have a wonderful, wonderful time in the Lord on Good Friday. Amen. Amen. Um, majority of you should have off on Good Friday. If you don't have off on Good Friday, shame on your institution. Shame. Shame. Shame on for not letting you off on Good Friday. And um, we want you to be here at 7 o'clock on Good Friday. On Saturday, everybody say Saturday. Saturday, Saturday we are going to have a, a Goodwill Feast. And come on, put your hands together. Again. We're going to have dinner together. We want you all to come. Come, come, be here with us. We want to eat together and feast together. That dinner will begin at 5 o'clock. Ashton, be here. Come on, come on, come on, BP. Y'all know who BP is. Let's be on regular time. Yes. Start at five. See Lavelle got. Um, come on, we want to eat at five. Yes. Amen. Yes. So you can't be getting here at five fifteen. Right. Looking. Let's be here at five. We want to be here. We want to eat together. We gonna to have our goodwill feast. Um, it's a passion feast yes. that we have. If you want to, um, either one of them are here today. But um, we want, if, if there's something you would like to contribute to the dinner, um, Sister Bonnie, um, and we thank God for Sister Yolanda. She is the chef extraordinaire. Yes. We got the grill in the back, but I don't think we're going to light that up. <laughs> <laughs> but we're looking forward. Um, if something you want to ask, I got a dish I want to bring. Brianna, you may make some good uh, brownies. Come on, right. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're looking forward to a wonderful, wonderful time of just uh, a fellowship. Amen. 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 Where we can just sit down at the table and we can eat together. Amen. Amen. So we're looking forward to that. And then Sunday, Sunday, we have our Resurrection Sunday service. Um, I want you to invite somebody to come on Sunday service. It's usually, uh, there's there's three services throughout the year that a, a lot of times it's easier to get people to come to. And it's the um, uh, 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 the CME uh, believers. Those CME believers, those ones that believe you only come on Christmas, Mother's Day, and Easter. Um, so you can get them <laughs> and talk to them and say, it's one of those. 
Come on now. You can't come to church on Easter Sunday. Come on now. How you call yourself a believer? You don't even go on Easter Sunday. But come on, invite somebody to come and believe that they're gonna come. Amen. Amen. But don't invite them if you ain't coming now. Right. You know what? Invite them anyway. We deal with. We tell them don't worry about it. They still cool. But we thank God for you um, we, and we bless God. So keep these in mind. We will be uh, continuing to share this news through the app. So please yes. uh, refresh your app. Make sure you're getting the uh, notifications um, so that you can stay informed as to what's going on. Amen? Amen. Amen. We give God praise. Come on, let's rest to your feet as I read the word of the Lord um, in your hearing. Um, once again, we bless God. Thank God for superintendent. God continues to keep in his health and his strength yes. as well as mother. Thank you for your continued prayers for my wife. Um, Lady Chanel, she is getting better and better every day. Thank you, Lord. And we thank God for God continuing to give her strength in her body. Thank God for Brother Isaiah. Come on, let's bless God for him. Yeah. Hold it down, as thank always. You, I thank God. I appreciate yes. him. But come on, let's continue to keep those who we don't see in our yes. prayers. Yes. Um, different complications. The devil, they, they, they say it, but it's true. The devil is busy. Yes. So if you know he's busy, then stay focused. Right. Amen. Come on. Let's, uh, if you have your Bible, I'm going to be in the book of Mark, chapter four, fourth chapter, book of Mark in the New Living Translation. <clears throat> um, fourth chapter of the book of Mark. Um, Elder Buck, you even have water. <clears throat> Thank you. Beginning at the 35th verse. Beginning at the 35th verse. Mark, the fourth chapter, New Living Translation, and it says this. As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. Verse 37 says, but soon a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat and it began to fill with water. Jesus was asleep at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up shouting, teacher, don't you care that we're going to drown? When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, silent, yes. be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and the waves obey him. God, we thank you for your word, for your word of divine truth, people of God. I want to tag this message, defeating the unexpected. Yes, yes. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord, defeating, defeating. the unexpected. Yes. I did not know clearly as to how effective this message would be as I begin to prepare it in my study time until I hit the house of the Lord on today. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. And then when I came to the house on today and got news after news after news, yes. after news, my God, my God. I said, God, we have to defeat the unexpected. Yes, yes. Because people God, listen to me. I've learned that it is the unexpected that seems to be more challenging than any obstacle we face. It's the unexpected that wears us out. Yes. It's the unexpected that frustrates us. It's the unexpected or even that which we can't prepare for that stresses us the most. Yeah. It's the unexpected or that which we did not see coming that causes us to really want to give up. Yeah. Uh, because the truth for many of us is this. Um, um, it's not that we don't believe that this life will come, will not come with trials or tribulations. We just wish we had the opportunity to prepare for the hits, the trials, and tribulations bring. Yes. 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 People of God, 
I've learned that it's those unexpected matters that cause us to declare that we don't have time for this. Uh, it's those unexpected storms that cause us, hear me, to respond in fear. Uh, it's called the fear of the unknown. Uh, my brothers and sisters, another word for unexpected is surprise and unforeseen. Uh, and, and, and it's clear, as we just read in the text, uh, that the disciples uh, who were mostly made up of fishermen uh, were surprised uh, by a storm that they didn't foresee. Yeah, amen, amen. Mm, they were surprised by a storm they didn't foresee. You see, in this text, you got to see, it's not alarming that Jesus was resting. It's not alarming that he was resting because when you read Mark chapter 4, you'll see that Jesus was doing some serious teaching. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, it begins with Jesus teaching about the scattered seed. Uh, then he teaches about the lamp that can't be hidden. Then he teaches about the growing seed. And he teaches about the mustard seed. And in between all of this teaching, he's given the disciples extra lessons on the side. So when he suggested, Jesus suggested, hey, let's get on the boat and go to the other side. Jesus went to go lay down, watch this, and he allowed the fishermen to do what they know to do. Right, yes, yes. Uh, he, let, he went and laid down, and he let the fishermen go ahead and sail, because that's what you know to do. Uh, people of God, let me throw this in right there. We have to stop tripping over that which we already know how to do. Yes. We got to stop falling in areas that we are already conditioned. There's something that I can do without asking God to help me. Yes. God has already showed me how to do it. Yes. I don't have to wait for God to show me because he already put it in me. Yes. Uh, Jesus went to sleep because the disciples were already fishermen. Yes. Do what you know to do and make it to the other side. Hear me, do what you know to do and survive. Do what you know to do and keep your head up. Do what you know to do and keep the devil out of your business. Do what you know to do and stop fighting these battles that God didn't ordain. Come on, tell yourself I got to do what I know to do. We have to do what we know to do. Jesus in the text um, here went to sleep as the disciples began to sail to the other side. Uh, the question is, people of God, what do we do when a peaceful sail to the other side of the lake turns into a stormy adventure? Mm, what do we do when things in our lives that seem to be normal now appear to be abnormal? Uh, you see, the text let us know, uh, Mother, that this storm, watch this, came out of nowhere. Yes. If the storm was there, the fishermen would have told Jesus, it's not safe for us to get on the water right now. Uh, it's not safe for us to go across, watch this, this lake right now. Uh, but, but, but as they went, the storm, the Bible says that a ferocious and fierce storm came and set. Uh -huh. on the lake it came out of nowhere people of God I know we want to always be prepared for trials but sometimes storms come out of nowhere yes. Yes. Uh, I need you to be prepared because sometimes adversities come out of nowhere Sometimes sickness comes out of nowhere. Sometimes extra trouble comes out of nowhere. And we have to know if God allows it, we're already prepared for it. Yeah. Hey, somebody say, I'm already prepared. I'm already prepared. Uh, we heard on last week, I'm built for this. Uh, I'm already prepared. You hear me, people of God? You see, it gets really crazy uh -huh, when, when it appears that what we are able to handle, we no longer have a handle on it. Uh, when we're, there's things that we have, we all have.
have our comfort zones. We all have the things that we're good at and we all have the things that we can handle, but it gets a little complicated when what I'm able to handle, I no longer can handle. Uh, you see, the disciples were fishermen. Uh, uh, they were sailors. This is what they did. This is what they do. But now they are confused. Why? Because I can't handle this storm. Uh, my, 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 my experience, oh yes, my experience is not effective in this storm. Uh, uh, I feel like, watch this, my experience is not making the situation better. Uh, it's not making the situation better, so they begin to panic. And, and that's where we lose control because we panic when we don't know what to do. Ah, come on, look at your neighbor and say, don't panic, don't panic. Don't panic. They went down and they said to Jesus, ah, teacher, look at that. Teacher, do you not care that we are about to drown? Jesus gets up, mother, and Jesus rebukes the wind. Uh, you see this? He rebukes the wind. Uh, come on, say, he rebuked the wind. He rebuked the wind and he told the waves be silent and be still. Okay. He rebuked the wind and he told the waves, you be silent and you be still. Okay. He told the wind mother, I rebuke you. In other words, he dismissed the wind from the situation. He was not pleased with the behavior of the wind. He dismissed he dismissed its presence from the situation. Yes. Okay. He told the wind, you get out of here. Yes. Because you're here causing trouble. Yes. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, we're going to work this thing. He said, he rebuked the wind and get out of here because, watch this, the wind is making the water act crazy. Yes. 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 Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. He said, Okay, to rebuke means to dismiss. Yes. To rebuke is to say, I disapprove of your presence. Yes. Uh, that's what a rebuke is. So he told the wind, you got to go. Yes. Because you're causing the water to act crazy. Yes. So he dismissed the wind and told the water, now you calm down and be quiet. Yes. <laughs> come on, come on, y'all. Come on, somebody just say, preach, pastor. Preach. Watch this, watch this, Elder Butler. If there, there's things in our lives where their behavior is contrary to effective sailing. Yes. And you got, hear me, you got to dismiss it. Yes. You got to get it out of your life. Yes. Why? Because your behavior, oh yes God, your behavior is unproductive. Yes. Your behavior is, watch this, Acting other, making other stuff act crazy. Oh my God, your behavior is causing every you stirring everybody else up. Uh, I tell my kids, especially my big ones, uh, uh, when when it's sleep time, I need everybody to be quiet because the little one gotta go to sleep. But 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 the big ones come rumbling and tumbling down the steps. And, and I say, I say, be quiet. And if you can't be quiet, you gotta get out of the room. Yes. Why? Because you causing this one to stay up. Yes. Come on, y'all. I'm trying to help you today. Yes. There's some, there's some behavior. Oh, yes, God. There's some behaviors in our life that God is saying you gotta dismiss them from the situation. Because, watch this elder Butler, the behavior is causing a uh hunt. That which is there to help you is causing it to act crazy. Yes. You, he could not, watch this, this chair, he could not dismiss the water because I still needed the water to take us to the other yes. side. Yes. But we couldn't go, but I can't go if the water is in an uproar. Right. I want my family to move from where we are to the next point, but I can't because we all in an uproar. Yeah. Why? Because there's a behavior somewhere that's affecting us from moving forward, so you got to dismiss the behavior. Yeah. 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 
Come on, say, I got to dismiss the behavior. I got to, I got to. There is some behaviors you can't allow in your atmosphere. Come on, did, we ever, did everybody get that? There's behaviors you can't allow in your atmosphere. If you allow the behavior in your atmosphere, mother, it's going to stir up everything. Look at this. What, what, Sister Yolanda, watch this. It, the word did not say that the wind was tearing up the boat. Did you see that? The word did not say that the wind was destroying the boat, man. It said the word said that the water was coming in the boat. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Okay. The wind came. Oh my God. Yes, Lord. The wind came and because the wind was acting crazy, it caused the water to turn on me. Yes. My God. Jesus. Jesus. We watch this. When bad behavior is in the room, we supposed to be working together. Yes. But we turn it on each other. Because a contrary wind is in the atmosphere. So now the water, which is supposed to be helping us, is not working against us. People of God, we got to get these behaviors out of our lives. Because what's supposed to be helping us is now turning on us. Why? Because... The wind is acting crazy. <laughs> the wind came. And this behavior, come on, y'all know I'm telling the truth. Yeah. Come on, if I'm preaching to you, tell the pastor you're preaching to me. Listen, the behavior uh -huh, of the, this, this wind is coming in and it's turning. Watch this. And it's making everybody act crazy. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's making everybody act crazy. Watch this. It's even making you lose your mind. Jesus. Oh, I'm God. losing my mind. Watch this. Uh, 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 Jazz, check this. They lost, how do I know they lost their mind? They just saw Jesus work miracle after miracle after miracle after miracle after miracle. And then they get here and question Jesus. Oh, Come on, y'all. That's crazy. The same God that healed the sick. The same God that gave sight to the blind. The same God that fed the thousands with a few. The same God that raised Lazarus from the dead is the same God that will carry us through the storm. Somebody shout same God. So Jesus... Jesus, Jesus told, he dealt with, when he first got up, watch this, uh, Mary Lee, you got to catch this, when he first got up, look what he dealt with, he dealt with what's affecting the atmosphere, yes, yes, yes. he did not deal with the disciples first, Isaiah, he walked past the disciples and he dealt with the situation, oh, hear me, people of God, you cannot ignore it away, yes. did you get that, you cannot ignore those emotions away, yes. you cannot ignore the behavior away. You cannot say I'm just not going to respond. The right. devil is a liar. Right. And the more you don't respond, you allow havoc to happen in your home. Yeah. The more you don't respond, you allow chaos to happen in your home. And watch this. You making matters worse. And if you don't get rid of the behavior, you are going to drown. Yes. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. You're going to drown. You're going to drown. Come on, say, I got to get rid of the behavior. <laughs> Come on, you got you to gotta, you gotta dismiss it. Yeah. Watch this. You can't, mm, you, can't, you can't tell the behavior to calm down. Right. No, 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 no. The behavior got to go. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and that which is there to help us, you say, now you calm down. Yes. Jesus, Jesus told the wind and the, he told the sea and the wave. Now, peace, quiet, quiet yeah. in here. Uh-huh. After we got the behavior out, now everybody go quiet. Mm. And the Bible says there was a great calm. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Who wants a calm in their life? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on, people of God. Come on. I'm tired of living in a whirlwind. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm tired. This is not of God. Yeah. 
This is not of God. God wants to bring calm to our situations. He wants to bring calm to our lives. Look at this. Now it was time for him, mother, to address the disciples. You see, Jesus was less concerned about the storm, Sister Brittany, and he was more concerned about their fear. Yes, yes. He said to them, why are you afraid? This, see, see, we gonna, we, see, the thing about it is, we can shut the wind down. Yes. Uh -huh. We can tell the sea to calm down. Yes. But what's going on with this fear in us? Yes. Mm. Why are we afraid to move? Mm. Oh, yes, God. Y'all going to hear today. Why are you afraid to address the situation? Oh, what you afraid of losing? My God. What you afraid? You're afraid of being abandoned? I said I'm with you always. Are yeah. huh? you afraid? Of, I said I'm, I'm Jehovah Jireh. Yeah. I'm your provider. God is about to move those things that we are holding on to that's bringing judgment, but it's our safety net. Because we're not trusting God the way we're supposed to, and we're wondering why we can't defeat unexpected situations. Because we got safety nets. We got things around that give us cushion. We got things in place that catch us if we fall so we really don't trust in God. But God wants to tell us today, you ain't nothing about you. All you're doing is operating in fear. Yes. Uh, we heard the word of the Lord when it told us God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. Jesus dealt with their fear. Hear me, people of God. Fear causes us to respond as though we're not built for this. Yes. Yes. Fear makes us respond as though we're not equipped to handle adversity. Yes. Uh, fear makes us respond, watch this, as if the Lord is not a present help in the time of trouble. Yes. Uh, I said fear makes us respond, Isaiah, as though the Lord is not a present help uh, in the time of trouble. That word present has two definitions, uh, 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 two meanings that I would like to give uh, uh, that, that both mother apply to Jesus. Uh, one meaning of present is being there and accounted for. That which I can see, I can see it there because it's present. You all are presence here. I can see you. I, I know that you are here. The second present is that of a gift that brings joy to the moment. Yes. Hallelujah. So it is present being accounted for. Present bringing joy to the moment. Jesus is both. But he said I am with you always even to the end of the world. Then he said as a gift. He says I have not seen ears, have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart what I have in store for those who love me. The Lord is telling us today, I am very present and I'm here to bless you. Yes. Hallelujah. He promises that he's with us and Jesus' fear and his concern with their fear. Watch this because I'm present. Oh, how how scared are we when the Lord is here? Uh, come on, say the Lord is here. Lord come on, tell yourself the Lord is here. Watch this. And so in the text, Mother uh, Jesus, after he comes, calm, he dismisses the wind superintendent. After he dismisses the wind and after he does, uh, uh, tells the sea, uh, you calm down and be still. Go quiet. Uh, uh, he's one, Another thing, let me deal with this. He silences the noise. Oh, yeah. Hear me? He, he silences the noise. It's, uh, uh, sometimes it's too noisy around us. Uh, and, and noise can bring fear. Uh, let a fire alarm go off right now. It don't matter what I'm preaching. I doubt I keep anybody's attention. Right. If a fire alarm, because the alarm gets in our ears. Watch this. And it puts, watch, oh, yes, Lord. It puts images in our mind. Yes, yes. <laughs> we hear a sound and we create images in our mind. You hear the fire alarm and you think there's a fire somewhere. Right, right, right. 
That's why teachers, uh, when they do their due diligence, they tell the children, now there's about to be a fire drill. I need y'all to know this is planned and it's a drill so that you'll know what to do when it really happens. Oh God. Uh, Aiden, they say it's, it's a fire drill today. We're going to have a fire drill. We're not going to tell you when it is, but I'm telling you, it's going to be a fire drill, but it's just a drill. We're doing this so that you will know how to respond if a fi if the fire alarm really had to go off. Yes. Mother, they tell the students, uh -huh. these children, I need you to stay calm. Here's what you do. Get in the line. Follow the leader and get, make it to the nearest exit and walk out of the door, stand straight so everybody is present and accounted for. Yes. Uh -huh. And he says, so when you hear it, you won't panic. Yes. You, when you hear the alarm, what will you do? You will respond in how you've been taught. Yes, my God. Yes. When you hear a noise that has the potential to bring trepidation to your body, you will respond how you've been trained. Yes. In the event that some unexpected thing happens, we can defeat it by moving away from the issue. Yes. Uh, so if the alarm goes off, you're prepared. But when the alarm goes off, here's the problem, Sister Melissa. Here's the problem, Elder Butler. Superintendent, here's the problem. The problem is when the alarm goes off, the teacher panics. Because yes. oh the teacher says, they didn't tell us about this. This thing must be where y'all are in. Come on, y'all are in. Everybody get in line. Why? Because they didn't tell me this one must be real. When unexpected things happen, believers, we got to stay calm. Come on, tell yourself, I gotta stay calm. I gotta, I gotta come on, tell you, I gotta stay calm. I gotta, I gotta stay calm. Watch this, because when you calm down, you'll remember trained behavior. Yes. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. But fear makes us respond outside the trained behavior. Yes. Uh, fear makes us lose that which we were taught, doesn't it? And then watch this, we put everybody in danger. Amen. Amen. So when Jesus deals with this fear, people of God, and I know a lot of us, we don't like to say that we're afraid, um, and, and, and there's things that we're afraid of that we haven't applied the word fear to, um, because we sometimes only equate fear to being scared. Uh, and sometimes your response, which would you eat? There are things that we submit to that we know are not the will of God for our lives, and we submit to it out of fear. Fear of be, of losing friends, fear of losing relationships, fear, fear of losing pocket, fear of losing money, fear of losing positions. So watch this. We submit to things that are not of God. Jesus. And here Jesus was awakened by the fear of the disciples. He was awakened by their clarion cry that said do you not care yes. oh so not only did it cause them to act crazy it caused them to disrespect God it caused them to disrespect God because uh -huh, they, 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 they treated him as though they didn't know his purpose yeah. They, they treated him as though you didn't watch me kid. when y'all wanted to dismiss them and told them to go and find food somewhere else. I told you to sit them down and feed them. Yes, yes. When y'all wanted to dismiss the children, I told you forbid not the little children to come. Yes. Uh -huh. When y'all when, when y'all couldn't understand that some virtue that had went up out of me, I told you somebody touched me. And watch this. Fear will cause you to disrespect God. My God. My God. Mm. It will cause you to be insultive of God. So look at what Jesus asked. He asked him the question, Sister Melissa. He said, do you still, look at these words, have no faith. And that's where I want to close. Do you still have no faith? We've been coming. We've been receiving. The question is, do you still have no faith? People of God, I told y'all in the beginning that these disciples were what? Fisherman. Yes. He says, could you not just make it to the other side? Did you not have enough belief in your training that you could just make it 
on the fact that you know what to do. Yes. You, you, you've been trained what to do. But, 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 but when adversity comes, you act like you don't know what to do. You, you act like you don't know how to pray. Watch it. You act like you don't know how to respond to the situation. Why? Because you got another way of responding. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, so he says, Sister Brittany, do you still have no faith? Why are you still responding with your flesh? Why are you still responding with fear when I've given you faith? Yes. Why? Because faith allows us to sail through stormy situations. Yes. It's not that Jesus didn't know that the storm was happening. Yeah. It's the fact that the storm didn't matter. Yes, yes, yes. 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 It's not that Jesus was unaware that we were about to face a storm. Mm -hmm. He's all knowing. But it's the fact that a storm, watch this, can't block my word. I said, let's go to the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Did y'all see that? Yeah. See, we fear makes us be forgetful. Right, right. You see, we'll come this Sunday and forget what God did for us last Sunday. Right. Come on, y'all. We'll come today, Sister Sherry, and forget what he taught us last Tuesday. Yeah. When I was there, I remember what he said, but 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 now I'm on the water. But he says, my word cannot come back to me void. It can't be stopped. It can't be hindered. It can't be blocked. It can't be broken. It has to fulfill. All you got to do is remember what he said. Y'all yeah. know I tell y'all all the time. I tell y'all all the time. I pray for y'all memory bank because 90% of y'all don't be taking notes. Uh, 99% of y'all don't take notes. Yeah. And I say, I want you to remember why. Because when you're out there, somebody say, when I'm out there. I'm out there. That's when I got to remember what the word said. Yeah. See, in here, it's easy to remember. Right. Uh, but when I go out there and I face adversity, now I got to remember that he said he'll never leave me nor forsake me. Now I got to remember that he's a present help in the time of trouble. Now I got to remember that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. Now got to remember no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Now I got to remember that the devil is a liar. Now I got to remember that God is a noise silencer. Now I got to remember he gave me power to rebuke demons. He gave me power to tread upon serpents. He gave me power to do these things. Now I got to remember. But faith is the key that helps us remember. We have to increase our faith. Watch this. Because faith Reminds us that the water can't drown us. Yes, yes. Oh my God. The water can't drown us. Faith lets us know that the fire can't consume us. Yes. Uh, and faith lets us know that mountains cannot block us. Yes. Water's there. Yes. Fire's there. Mountains there. But guess what? We can get through the water. Yes. We can survive the fire. Yes. And we can go around the mountain. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I ain't going around a mountain. Jesus said, if I had faith of a mustard seed, I could tell the mountain to move from here to over there. We got power, people of God, to get things out of our way. But you got to believe you got power because we have to defeat the unexpected. We cannot allow these unexpected situations. Watch this, because you will have a good time in service today. I know I'm going to get an amen right now. Yeah. You will have a good time in service today if I've got an amen myself. You have a good time in service because I know what I'm about to say. You have a good time in service today and as soon as I leave the door, Jesus. the devil act up. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I know I'm telling the truth. I'll be in the house of the Lord. I feel the power of God. Yes. Walk out of here feeling good, yes. feeling filled with the Spirit. And as soon as I walk in the door, I get a what situation? Right. What is going on here? Jesus. Jesus. Uh, the, the unexpected hits us like a blow. And we have to know how to respond so that we defeat the unexpected. Yes. Uh, so you know what we have to do? I got to put every bad behavior out. Put it out. Come on, everybody say, I got to put it out. I got to put it out. 
I put it out. There's some things in our life, people of God, I want you to hear me. That you gotta put out. You got you got you, 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 because it's causing turmoil. First of all, it's causing turmoil in you. It's causing turmoil in us. And I said, I can't allow it. Come on, we 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 have to realize I can't allow it. Uh, there, there's some things here in people of God that the devil has lied to you and said you got to put up with. Uh, it lets you know you don't have a choice in the matter. But I told y'all in the beginning, the devil is a what? Liar. He is a liar. Yes. I don't have to put up with this because I'm a believer. Yes. Uh, because God has great things for me. You. But you have to know, you have to fight to greatness. Mm. You're going to have to survive some storms to get to the other side of this. Yes. And there is an other side of this. Amen. Hmm, come on, let me encourage you. There is another side of this. Yes. This Amen. is not the end. This is Amen. not the end of your story. Amen. There is a, Come on, tell yourself there's another side to this. Side come to on, this. encourage yourself and say it's another side to this. Side this to is this. not the end. Don't accept this as your end. Don't accept this as the outcome. I don't care what it is. I don't care how hectic it may be. There is a rebuke for the chaos. Yeah. 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 Rebuke you. Amen. Come on, if you never said it, just open your mouth and say, Satan the Lord rebuke you. Satan, the Lord, rebuke if you've never you, said it, maybe those words have never came out of your mouth. You've never felt comfortable looking at a, 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 a situation that you know that is not of God. And you know that this behavior is not of God, it's unaccepted. And you look at it and say, Satan the Lord God rebuke you. You got to dismiss that situation out of the atmosphere. So now you can deal with that which is supposed to remain. Yes, hallelujah. In order to deal with what is supposed to be here. Woo! Somebody say, what's supposed to be here? To be here. I'm doing a lot of teaching. I hope yeah. we get this today. Woo! There are thi every, everything ain't supposed to be there. Woo! Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. We don't have an open door policy. Yeah. Oh my God. What we really have, the car, you know what we got? We really got a revolving door. Yes, yes. It's really a revolving door. Uh, I went. I went to a. Uh, I went to the uh, 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 sister's hospital when I went, and 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 they got that revolving door. They got the they they, they they got the big door. You just just revolve it, and when you go, I go in and and, and I try to be uh huh uh Brianna. I, I I try to be uh uh courteous, mm -hmm. and um I either uh try not to go in with somebody I don't know, you know, because they get uncomfortable, you know. Uh, um, at, at the end of the day, I'm saved, I'm sanctified, I'm Holy Ghost filled. But believe it or not, people of God, your pastor intimidates some people. Uh -huh. yeah. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm big and black. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. And I like to keep my hood on. I don't know. <laughs> but they, I get in and I try to be courteous and, and, and I realize that the door, as it revolves, it only has two openings. Uh -huh. Oh, Jesus. It only has two openings, and both are an entrance and an exit. Yes. Come on now. Yes. Come on now. Both, 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 oh, Sherry, you got to catch this. Both openings are entrance and an exit. Yes. Both. Yeah. Say that. Both, you can choose to get in. You could choose to stay in, right. and you could choose to go out, right. or you could choose to get out mm -hmm. and stay in, yes. because the door is constantly revolving. Yes. And guess what happens? As it revolves, you got to make a decision. Right. Watch this, and it's going to force you to make a decision. Right. And if you don't make a decision, guess what? The door, watch this, going to make you keep moving. Yes. Yes. It's going to push you. Yes. Yes. It's going to make you keep going. That's right. It's, it, you you got to move here. Right. And, and then when you see it, you're going to have to make a choice. Yeah. And if you don't make a choice, you're going to be stuck in ambiguity. Mm, <laughs> Watch this. Seeing the same thing you just saw. My God. Because it's a door. Dakari, you got to make the choice to either enter or you got to make the choice to exit. Mm. You understand, people of God? And right now, we got to make a choice. Because everything and the door has to stay revolving because everything, because there's some things I need to send out. Yes. 
Yes. And if you try to come back around, I'll send you out again. What did the Bible say is when Jesus was in the wilderness, he was tempted of the devil. Mm -hmm. huh? At the end of all of that, what did he say at the end? That the enemy, he left him just for a moment. I told y'all it's a revolving door. Yes. You, you're not going to shut the door and keep the devil out. Yes. It's a revolving door. He going to slip in there one time again. And when he come in, guess what? I'm going to send you right back in that revolving door. Watch it, and I'm gonna send you right back out. Then, then when you send him out, he go, he go creep back again. And he, he y'all, y'all know, y'all know, because some of y'all got revolving door relationships. Jesus. Some of y'all got revolving door. They, they come creep, 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 creep on up in, Jesus. and you ain't seen him. And then, and then it's there. And then you know, I'm sick of you. You push him back, why? Because that door keep moving, and you ain't gotta open it. It's open. So you push them back out and they're gone and you live it for a while and then guess what? The door move again and you look to see who's coming in. It's them again. You oh, you, you come on in. And you welcome them in. Because you feel Jesus brought them back. Did they bring them back? Jesus. You let them back in. Jesus ain't let them back. You got to let them know ain't nothing changed around here. Going back through that door. Watch this, unless you ready, watch this, because you got to behave in a certain way on this side of the door. Come on, y'all. You got to act a certain way on this side. And if you can't behave right, I got to put that behavior out. Because you got to, it, 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 things got to go a certain way. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew how to act in my parents' house. I knew, I knew, because I knew what would happen. You can put out. You 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 gonna live safe in here. Yes. You hear me? This is God's house. We gotta go back to making sure. Come on, this house of God that we have here. Yes. Go home and make your place of dwelling the house of God. Yes. Clear out everything. Make sure and make sure everybody in there know this God's house. Yes. Ain't gonna be no cussing, ain't gonna be no fussing, ain't gonna be no fighting, ain't gonna be no drinking, ain't gonna be no smoking, ain't gonna be no lying, ain't gonna be no sexing on there. Yes. Come on now. Ain't, ain't gonna be none of that. Ain't gonna Marjay, move your hand. Ain't gonna be none of that. <laughs> this is God's house. And watch this. You gotta make sure you keep it that way. Yes. Be bold. Walk around the house and say, in the name of Jesus, what's going on in this room? That's right. In Jesus' name. I told they told me the other day, they said, Oh, Pastor, I'm excited. Y'all got a meeting tomorrow. God is blessed. And I got a call. They said, Pastor, I got a I, I look at my my, my 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 call log came up and I looked at the phone and they said, You got a call from the uh it's it's the governor's office. That's what it said on. Oh, I said, the governor's office. I said, wait a minute, I think I'm like, oh girl, everything good, okay. <laughs> Hello, who is this? And they answered the phone. They said, this is Executive uh, Secretary uh, Governor uh, Kathy Holcomb. We got your name um, and you're recommended. We got this panel on tomorrow. We have this meeting um, and we want you to come. Um, you came highly recommended. I said, did I? Um, they said, it's on, it's on Monday. We want to know if you'll be able to come. Um, uh, 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 Governor Holcomb will be there and she wants to discuss her proposal for uh, gun violence and violent crime in the community. And we want the clergy to be there and we want you to come. I said, sure, sure, I'm glad to be there. That's just amazing. So y'all pray for me. I said, I'll be glad to come. I'll be glad to be there and speak with us, say, of the Lord. I'd be glad to come. I said, yeah. And I was sitting there thinking, I said, you know what? Here's the thing about it. There's certain things you can't do when you put God in it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 mm -hmm. It's hard. It's hard to cuss and fuss and sin when you got the crucifixion in your room. It's hard, it, it's hard to sit there and, uh-huh, and, and, and this, this is for, this is for, this is for my Madisons, for my Aidens, for my, my, my Sydneys, for my Trey. I don't think Trey does this, but for Trey, um, this is for Brit. I don't know. I, I, I'm a limit to that, but put yourself in it if you know it's you and I just don't know it yet. This is for my people who like to create TikToks. It's hard to create a TikTok dance 
to let Jesus lead you. Right. It's, it's, it's hard to do. I don't know the dances anymore. When you listening to with my hands lifted up yeah. and my mouth filled with praise. You see, that's why they change your music. Because it's hard to dress inappropriate when you're going to church. But when you're going to an 18th birthday party, it's easy to show the goods. It's hard to come up in here and, and, and your belly all out. Mm -hmm. So what they do, they create situations where it's accepted. And when they create those situations, we fall into a snare. Yeah. So what am I saying? If we keep God out of it, that's why anything can rain. Yeah. That's why I say you got to put God in the house. Yes. Go, 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 go back to putting posters up in the house, they got scripture on it. That's right. And remember it. You understand know what I'm saying? Go back to praying in your house loud. Play, 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 your, play, your, play gospel music loud in your house. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Take take off, take, take, I don't know if they still do this. They just take the, the hinges off the doors. See, I got girls, so they need their door. They need their door, I guess. Oh, but I come and knock them. What's going on in there? Yeah, yeah. You ain't always getting dressed. Amen. Why are you getting dressed? Stay dressed. Right. You know what I'm saying? They gone so long, disappear for long periods of time. Hey, you ain't got to be in the bathroom three hours. You know what I'm saying? You got to go knocking, see what's going on. Because something going on. Legs numb. Whole lower torso, numb. Sitting there. What's going on in here? You all right? You sick? You need me to call the doctor? What's going on? You understand know what I'm saying? See, this is when we had control of the house. Yes. Why are you sleeping all day? Right. My daughter, no. My, my Madison, love to sleep, boy. Ooh, she got a sleeping demon. <laughs> that girl, possessed with sleep. And I said, I, 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 you, you doing drugs? You smoking? No, you drinking? No, no, don't act like it's puzzling. Right. <laughs> what? Ain't no what? Why? Because I know unexpected things that pop up. And I got to ask questions. And I need you to know I'm going to seek and find. What? I look under beds, pillows, all of that. And I find it, I ask. And I need to know. You come on. See, I'm a father. And I got all girls. And my girl's going to know they got a father that's going to question. Madison, no, just yesterday. I love using Madison. She's she a decent kid. Decent. And she the first one. Come home, come downstairs with a basketball jersey on. I said, what boys gave you a basketball Daddy, I bought this. Yeah, whatever you bought. What boy gave you? Daddy, I been had this. Yeah, right, you been had it. What boy Cause I'm on it. Tell them you had it freshman year. This is my first time seeing any of you a singing. Right. <laughs> Who you think you fooling? Do you understand? See, we gotta go back. Listen to me say, we gotta go back to taking control of our family. Yeah. I told y'all last week, God has given us foresight, insight, and hindsight. Yeah. We gotta use it to our advantage. Yeah. Coach, you're going to tell them girls, in the name of Jesus, I know what's going on. Yes. And I'm telling you what's going to happen. Don't believe me? Okay, you'll come back. Because right. judgment going to hit. And when you come back, I'm going to tell you, now lift your hands and ask God to save you. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Because the enemy is trying to drown us with that which is here to help us. Amen? Come on, put your hands together and give God praise. <laughs> come on, bless God for real. Come on, we thank God. For the word. Yeah, we thank God for the word. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. We thank God for the word the Lord has given us. And this is this is what's gonna save us. 
It's not only going to save us, it's what's going to keep us. Yes, yes. It's going to keep us. We got to be kept. Yes. All right? Because when we leave here, there's things that's going to pull us, Lavelle, but it, it, God keeps us. Yes. Come on, we in the tug of war. Yes. Yes. Truth of the matter is, I need y'all to notice something always has a hold of you. Something's got a hold of it. Something always got a hold of you. We have to fight. And when you realize what it is, you got to fight your hardest to get it cut off. I got to I gotta detach myself from it. I got to whip away from it. Why? Because if I don't, I, why, it's going to be something else that get me. And then something else going to get me. Then he got my leg. And now you're pulling me back. Where the Lord has brought me out of those things. But I got to be where God wants us to be. Amen. Amen. Come on, say this one more time. Put your hands together and give God praise. Amen. Listen, we coming back tonight, 5 o'clock. One of these days, everybody I see in the morning, I'm going to see at 5. I just believe it. Uh, Sunday night service is just another opportunity for you to come and experience God. Yeah. Amen. And I'm so grateful that you come and, and you set time. Your time given to God is important to the time that he gives you. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. I, I, as a leader, um, I present us with opportunities to give time to God. Yes. And, and this, this is what I'm doing. And you got to come because your time given to God affects the time God gives to you. Yes. And I want you all to know that. So you say, guess what? I got to be there. I gotta be there. If 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 I only get to make Sundays, listen to this. That's only four hours out of a week that I get to give to God. I gotta be there. I can't miss because the Lord has given us. Come on, say He's given me so much time. He's given me so much time. He's given us so much. Amen. Amen. He's given us so much time, yes. and these times of assembling is important. Amen. I promise you, these these little few hours right. can make a great difference in the whole week. Yes. I'm saying just these few yes. hours of being here yes. will it it will allow you to affect. Do y'all know that, that 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 when I left here on Sunday and some, last Sunday was incredible. Yes, God. Monday to Sunday, I've been going through something. Mm. But I say, I am not going to allow you to steal my joy. Right. Watch this. I'm going to deal with it. Yes. If it's behaviors I got to put out, I'm putting them out. Yes. And whatever is supposed to remain, I'm going to deal with that. Yes. But first, I got to put the behavior out. I got to let you know this attitude don't make sense. We can watch this. We can't communicate when we both got an attitude. Yes. So that behavior got to go. Yes. So that behavior got to go. So let's start there. Let's start right there. Let's get that spirit out of here. And let's deal with so good. So what? So that God can bring us together. Yes. Tuesday night we talked about the yoke. Yes. And being yoked up with God. And making sure we all going in the same. We have to make sure that those that are with us. Everybody saw what I just did? With us are going in the same direction as us. Because yes. just because they next to you. Don't mean they going in the same direction as you. Yes. Just because they're in the vicinity of you don't mean y'all got the same end goal. Yes. Are you hearing me, people of God? But this is why we come and this is what we learn. So I encourage you to come back on tonight. Come back on tonight at five o'clock. Be here. Be here in time of worship. Um, I'm going to continue to pray. Um, listen, I want you, those that can, and will share a seed with us on tonight, on today. God blesses us and I thank you for your giving. Thank you for your giving. Listen, the Lord has blessed us tremendously. Um, to accomplish different things and set before us because of people. And not only not only do you give because you love your church, but I thank you that you give because you know it's right to give. Amen. 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 You just know it's right. It's right to Amen. give. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. I go to many uh, sociology, I go to many church services. And when I go to these services sometimes, they'll tell me something and the offering officiant to get up there and I ain't feeling what they're doing at all. I ain't feeling it all. I don't, I don't, I'm uncomfortable with how they're trying to receive money. But I said in my heart what I was going to give. Do you know I pull out my phone to carry and send it right here? <laughs> Do you hear what I'm saying? I will pull it out and I'll send my offer right here, Marjay. 
Because I already said in my heart what I was going to give. Yes. But, but, and guess what? You can't fool me to think that every ground is good ground. Yes. Isaiah, I come and I pull out my app and cash app Goodwill Community Church. Yes, I will. Yes. And I've done it. Because you're not going to fool me. And guess what? I don't know about you, but I ain't got no seed to waste. Yes. I ain't got no seed to waste. Amen. So if I'm giving, I got to know I'm giving in a place that it's going to produce a harvest. Yes. Watch this. I need to know, watch this. I need to know that if I give, it's going to benefit even where I'm giving. Yes. Wait a minute. I just said something there. I need to know if I give in this ministry, that I know it's going to benefit this ministry. Yes. If I'm over there at this church and this pastor and I'm there for him, I need to know if I give here, it's going to bless this house. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. So don't let nobody trick you with your giving. Yes. You got to know that when you give, you give as unto the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful to be able to give. Amen. Amen. How many thank God for an offer? Yes. Yes. Come on, I thank God for an offer. Who yes. marks your head? That mean I ain't broke. That's right. Amen. I got something to give. Yes. Thank God. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you. I know I'm thankful every time I get an opportunity to give. Amen. You hear me? Because I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yes. And I'm going to be a blessing. Yes. Amen. Amen. And God is continuing to make a way. So thank you so much for your giving. We thank God for those that are giving online. Come on, bless God for them. Come on, we bless God for those that give by way of cash app online. Um, if you are, our cash app is dollar, dollar sign GWCCNY. But if you have our app, go to the app. You can download the app. You can give give that way. Um, you can give that way. And um, we thank you so much for your giving. People of God, let's stay blessed. Yes. Samira, stay blessed. Yes. Stay blessed. You hear me? Stay blessed. Stay in a position that you can stay blessed. Amen. Amen. We want God to continue to bless us in all um, adverse situations. Come on. We bless God. Come on. We're standing all over the house. Come on, prayerfully. I see all of you back at 5 o'clock. Yes. We get the Lord's will. We thank God for those that are watching. God bless you. Um, we dismiss you in the name of the Lord. You can be with us um, next Sunday. We'll be back here and we give God praise. Come on, let's bless God and we thank God. <laughs>